Merkel made a mistake, German politics shook after nearly 70 years. In European countries, the political nightmare has its own name. In Germany, the name is the German alternative, Uft. The colors chosen by the party to symbolize identity are blue, distinct from the green of the Green Party, the reds of the SPD and the yellow party, the yellow party FDP and black of the two Christian Democratic Alliance, CDU, and Catholic Social Alliance, CSU. Uft has now become a real political nightmare for Germany by winning 12.6% of the vote in parliamentary elections on 24 September, becoming the third largest party in the German parliament after the CDU CSU and the SPD, the second time running for the German parliament. Uft was set up in February 2013 to gather German opponents of German Chancellor Angela Merkel's government in dealing with the financial crisis, public debt and rescue of the euro. These people are not friendly with the EU, do not want to cooperate and link the continent, want to restore the Deutsche Mark DM. In the same year, Uft took part in the first German parliamentary election, but won only 5% of the vote as a result of the law being the opposition party outside parliament. At this congressional election, Uft achieved impressive results. For the first time since the 1950s, in the German parliament, the party was more conservative and conservative than the CDU and CSU. The Political Nightmare of German Politics Germans who are less humorous but politically imaginative, should play the game of colors in the political spectrum. Accordingly, if this blacker than the CDU and the CSU, on the right side of the CDU and CSU, as the Green Party and the left wing are shaping to the left of the SPD. If this considered to be like the National Front in France or the supporters of Donald Trump in the United States, e. national, nationalist and populist factions. The party's recent resounding victory has nothing to do with its reason for its involvement in Merkel's policy on solving the refugee problem. The general sentiment of the Germans ahead of this year's parliamentary election was that they wanted to punish Merkel's CDU-CSU coalition and SPD coalition, which did not want the coalition to remain in power, to lose faith in Merkel. It also supports the CDU and the CSU party as before and is deeply concerned about security, particularly concerned about the refugees Merkel has received for Germany, threatening their security and life and feeling Merkel and the ruling fractions do not pay due attention and concern to their concern. Many German voters who have always voted for other political parties voted this time for UFT, in protest. The other parties or the belief that only the IFD party really helped dispel their concerns. The party won such a result thanks to three important constituencies, true constituency voters, voters who still voted for other parties for now vote for IFD and voters who never go. Vote this time to vote for IFD. About one quarter of German voters do not usually vote. The IFD party is in fact a product of Merkel's 12-year rule in Germany. The extreme, extreme, nationalist and populist extremism in Germany is always present and not always weak. But thanks to Mrs. Merkel's ruling style, there is no point in resolving the issue at hand, and every time we follow the slogan we do it and the wrong policies, especially Merkel's refugee problem has the potential to turn it into a political and social force that has a legitimate, organized and powerful parliament. UFD brings up the latest evidence and confirms the political tendency that developed in Europe is that major parties continue to decline and fall, small parties at the fringes increasingly encroach on major parties in the centre and parties. Extreme, whether it is chivalry or possession, invades the political arena. In the old days, the Green Party and the Left Party needed more parliamentary terms, meaning that they had to go through parliamentary elections and be sure to be in politics and in society. The current of the party will be no different, but it is clear that internal political and social conditions in Germany and outside are more favorable to the party than those of the other two parties. Germany, where the leftist tradition has always been difficult, now faces the greatest challenge from the far right.
only if the other party is less extreme and politically pragmatic, in fact not illusion, looking far away from the competition, Merkel and other big and small parties in Germany will find it difficult. Complex in this parliamentary term. Return. <laughs>